The following fight is a special showcase bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is an MMA specialist and stands five feet, nine inches tall. She weighed in officially at 164.6 pounds and holds a record of one win and two losses. Fighting out of Boto Acton, Florida, Kelsey DeSantis. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet, eight inches tall and weighed in officially at 164.4 pounds and holds a pro MMA record of one victory and one defeat. She comes to the cage as a two-time Olympic gold medalist and three division boxing world champion. Fighting out of Flint, Michigan, the quote, Clarissa Shields. Your referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Kerry Hatley will oversee the action. Clarissa Shields in the blue, Kelsey DeSantis in the black and white. All right, ladies, this is what you work for right here. Ready? Ready? Let's go to work. Right to the center of the smart cage. No touch of the gloves. DeSantis pokes out a kick. This is interesting. Shields' footwork already is interesting, guy. Okay, now she's starting to move just a little bit, but she came out a moment ago and planted her feet. I think that little kick attempt got her attention. Randy, you and I both had Olympic fever. I mean, come on, we're looking at a two-time gold medal. This yeah. is something real special here in Shields, right in front of us. This is the third fight I've seen Clarissa fight, and she is very impressive. Her willingness to put herself in some uncomfortable positions in something she's never done before is very commendable. Showing the jab. So far, hasn't committed really to anything. She did offer a kick attempt. Oh, nasty right hand, and now Clarissa Shields is swinging away. Fighting is all about range. She's got to find that range where she can get into those exchanges. Obviously, DeSantis is trying to stay out of that kicking range. Make sure Shields can't reach her with those hands. Clarissa appears to be deliberate and not pumping that jab as much as she had in the past. It's almost like she maybe saw this as an opportunity. There's a, another good straight. DeSantis has the clinch. He needs to do something with it here, Randy. Shields did a nice job of framing off on the head of DeSantis and turning the ties and spinning DeSantis to the fence. And Clarissa Shields made a, a point in the fighter meetings to talk about this. She says it's not just stand up and not just groundwork. There's a third fight in mixed martial arts that she had to learn about, and that was this, clinch work, cage work. It can be incredibly exhausting, and knowing what to do here is something that she prides herself on learning. The defense by Kelsey DeSantis tried to step across. Shields negates it, and now throws a left hand up over the guard. Offering some knees. Let's hear from Big John McCarthy. We haven't checked in with Big John. Big John, it's a totally different rule set for Clarissa Shields. Is she adapting well in her third fight? I think she's adapting beautifully. You don't see boxers going to MMA. You see MMA fighters going to boxing because that's part of what they train in. But right here is where Clarissa Shields is in a position where boxers never want to be. Take a look where she's at and look at the, she's calm. That's the most important thing. Take your time, think yourself out of the position and get yourself back to your feet. She's got the right side underhook, well, left side, correct side underhook, I should say. Her left underhook under Kelsey DeSantis, who now tries okay. to work from the top. By the well, way, in this showcase go. bout, there will be no elbows. I do admire the calmness of Clarissa. What's more surprising to me is that Kelsey isn't sensing the opportunity she has right here. She's not looking to pass from this position. I'm wondering if that's strategic or if a couple of those shots by Clarissa got through and Kelsey shaking the cobwebs. Either way, I'm a little surprised that Kelsey isn't looking to advance here. I would think this is where her and her team wanted this match to go. It would appear that she could, if she wanted to, slide that right leg through to a full mount, potentially. Now pushing Clarissa Shields back against the cage right in front of her own corner. 
saw Shields in her first MMA fight against Brittany Elkin get fully mounted and stay very composed and find a way to work herself out of that position to win the fight. Final minute of this first round, catchweight bout between Clarissa Shields, who now is mounted. Kelsey DeSantis has one minute to work from this mount position. And here again, Kelsey is being deliberate. She's taking a deep breath. John McCarthy just said, stay calm, find a way out of a position. Kelsey's doing the opposite. She's staying calm. Okay, she's with an armbar. Here's an armbar attempt from Kelsey DeSantis. She fell back on it. Chris is pushing that toe. She actually wants to push the leg off of her head. Santos does have some good extension, but maybe her hip's not quite deep enough on the arm of Clarissa Shields, who now... Clarissa could, could just push up one more close. time. And come She's all close. Over. Close to getting out of there. Oh, that arm is bending a little bit the wrong way, but Clarissa Shields refusing to tap. Now getting her legs involved. Climbing over the head of Kelsey DeSantis in these final seconds of round number one. Big threat from DeSantis. Don't kick the face. Do not kick the face. Stop. I'm going to okay, guess go. you're going to see ladies, Clarissa Shields let her Still hands work. go at the start of this round. One thing about Clarissa that we, we learned in her first fight, those grappling exchanges tend to upset her a little bit as we open round number two. Shields with right hand in the combination in the blue. Kelsey DeSantis is in the black and white. Well, Randy called that one right. I mean, Shields walked her down as well. Look, I'd like to see Shields if she could fight her. I'd like to see her keeping Kelsey's back up against the fence. Every inch of ground that Clarissa gets is bad news. Every inch she takes is very wide. Nice sprawl. Nice sprawl. Larissa, no jab at all. She led with a cross on that one. Well, straight two, right down the pipe. Randy, tell me about the mentality coming out for both of these fighters. Because if you're Kelsey DeSantis, you have a nice body shot from Clarissa. If you're DeSantis, you got Clarissa Shield down where you wanted her. You got the tight submission yeah. attempt. And, and, and it bears no fruit. And if you're Clarissa Shields, you got yourself in trouble and you survived. I mean, it's a, it's a different mindset for each fighter coming in. I think we're seeing the warrior spirit of Clarissa Shields here. She didn't like where she was at in that first round. She was going to come out now in the second round and change that. I've seen a little fatigue in DeSantis, a little hesitation here. She knows where she wants to be, but she, she's not working to get herself there. And in these combinations, DeSantis starting to turn away when she feels that power of Clarissa Shields. That's not something you can do often and get away with it against a two-time Olympic champion in boxing. Again, nice framing by Clarissa. DeSantis trying to get where she needs to be. Just misses with the big right hand. You can see the speed and power of Clarissa Shields' hands. So far, Kelsey DeSantis able to avoid the, the true knockout shot. Shields back into the center. DeSantis back into the cage. DeSantis wants to use that fence to try and trap her, to try and catch her, knock her down, trip her again. Shields backing her out into the striking. I think Shields has surprised herself a couple of times. She's connected and almost knocked on with the flurry. I also have to admire that patience. When she dipped to the body, she came back upstairs. She's doing what she wants to do. She's staying composed. That is tough. When he never blocked it back on another shovel hook to the body. Sean, you ever been here one of those? Like right there in the body like that? Oh, my goodness. I have. A time or two. <laughs> I didn't get hit off in jail, but when I did, it, it, it hurt. Yeah, Sean's head ah, movement was amazing. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, there the right hand. Oh, the sand is taking him, boy. There's another right hand that sneaks just over that guarding hand for Kelsey DeSantis. There's the body lock. And once again, DeSantis, with two minutes left, able to drag Clarissa Shields down. But for how long? She's going to have to do something with it. By the way, these Back judges are, are not going to give her a round. I know we got two minutes left, but the portion, they're not going to give her a round just for position. Clear nice hand Shields. control by Shields. It's a real Doing damage. a good job to stand back up. And she's trying to use that hand control to turn and face her opponent. Kelsey DeSantis hanging heavy on the back, taking some deep breaths here. A lot of fatigue showing. Two minutes left-ish in round number two. Kelsey DeSantis is in the black and white. Clarissa Shields is in the blue. And immediately on the separation, offers a right hand and a left hook. Well, you can tell Clarissa Shields did a lot of work on the cage because she's really done some great things. Framing, scrambling out of some positions. 
Kelsey's a little high for my liking on, on her grappling attempts. A lot of stuff has been up around the head or the neck, even the shoulders. You need to see her down to those hips or lower. I can, I can live uh, with the thighs and the hamstrings, but she's got to get a little bit lower on the body to control our Olympic champion. As you talk about control, you see Clarissa Shields there. She grabbed the wrist of Kelsey DeSantis to prevent the, the locking of hands. Framing out again. Let's look for her to punch her way out of this situation. Framing the head. Offers a knee. He's turning into a mixed martial artist, guys, right before our eyes. A little dirty boxing there. Yeah, buddy. Kelsey's conceding that position a little too easy. Kelsey really needs to push Clarissa's back up against the fence and keep her own off. It's a bit of a surprise. This is a grappling uh, realm, guys. It doesn't have to be on the ground to be wrestling. They're wrestling on their feet. She looks okay. on DeSantis's back now. A little duck under and to the back. DeSantis able to get out of that position quickly. Under 30 seconds here in round number two. Feature bout here on our early card. We've got a pay-per-view card coming up. Champs versus champs as Clarissa Shields goes with the flurry and the body work again, this time with the right hand. Oh, those body shots are hurting her. And then the right hand came over the top. Kelsey DeSantis might be saved by the bell here. <laughs> She wants to get Kelsey DeSantis out of here. She's like, what's keeping you standing up? I hit you with everything but the round. kitchen sink and you're still here. Round number three begins. Clarissa Shields, the two-time Olympic boxing gold medalist in the blue. Kelsey DeSantis, the United States Marine in the white and black. Oh, a kick from Clarissa. Well, that's not something I would have expected to see. And I like Clarissa's idea of backing DeSantis oh. up, but I'm a little surprised DeSantis is letting her. I'm a little surprised DeSantis is one, like she did in the first round, putting Clarissa's back and shoulders against that fence. A little advancing here from DeSantis, but she gets backed up with that right hand again. Don't let her draw you towards the cage. Bring her back to the center of the cage. Clarissa the temple. Shields listening well to her coaching. Coaches said, don't let her draw you back towards the cage. They don't want that clinch work. They don't want that dirty boxing. That's exactly what DeSantis is trying to do. That was, oh, boy, that was a big one, too. And the separation, she just threw that short overhand right up, right into the jaw of Kelsey DeSantis, who eats it for lunch and dinner. DeSantis is tough as an old leather boot. I mean, she's taking some <laughs> real shot. Her face is straight, man. She's playing poker out there, but she's got this straight face. I'm very impressed by that. Guys, I got to tell you, by the way, unofficial scorecard I'm keeping over here. I got this one apiece. This whole fight comes down to the next three minutes and 30 seconds. Good left hand nice. on the exit. You see the footwork. She adapted it for mixed martial arts. And here's a flurry. Referee looking closely. Kerry Hatley. DeSantis is in trouble here. Yeah, and that body, that body work in the first and second round is paying off. Look at look at the disparity of the strikes as we look at the fight stats. Clarissa Shields has landed almost 80 punches. Kelsey DeSantis registering zero on the meter right now. Don't forget nice about double. Her. Great scroll by Clarissa. You get carried away. Kelsey, even a cold guard would be wise. And now she's controlling the hips a little bit. Kelsey DeSantis getting down to the hips. After a nice sprawl from Clarissa Shields, nice work by Kelsey DeSantis to doggedly pursue that takedown. They're not on the ground, but DeSantis in a good position here. Nice hand work, hand fighting by Clarissa. But now DeSantis. Gotta be careful here. Mounted. Clarissa Shields. This is a tremendously important position, guys, as, as we have uh, less than half of the, the, the final round. I think they're one apiece. I mean, it really is. You're talking damage. I get that Shields is doing well, but DeSantis has enough time here to possibly sway this one back. Well, you I'm not talk sure about if she's got the energy to sway this one back. You made the point earlier. You're not going to get around just for position, just for control. After the first half of this round, where we saw Clarissa Shields landing, if this fight is indeed tied on the scorecards coming in to round number three, you're Kelsey DeSantis. You have half a round to work and try to steal this round back. Just trying to set up the arm bar again. I think that's too big of a risk, Randy. Yeah, she gives up top position. That's right. 
She's in mount. She's got the fence there. I think she's got a real opportunity to do some pounding. 90 seconds in round number three. Feature bout on our early card. Pay-per-view card still to come. PFL champs versus Bellator champs. Super belts on the line. Notice DeSantis is allowing Clarissa to stay in this position or to move her head towards the middle. That's opposite of what she wants to do. DeSantis wants to drive that head of Clarissa into the fence. That'll keep her for the rest of the night. Randy, what's the advice to Clarissa Shields in this position if you're in the corner with one minute left in this fight? You see what she's trying to do? She's trying to go to an elbow escape there, but she's trying to do it with her hand. She's got to switch her hips, get on one cheek, and push that knee down and find a way to get out of there. If I'm her coach, she's going to spend a week in this position after this. So she feels very comfortable getting out of this spot. She made the switch to Mercia Lago, mixed martial arts up there in Lansing, Michigan. DeSantis with 30 seconds. Still on top. 30 seconds, Chelsea, 30 seconds. Well, pushing through some real fatigue. There's a lot of compliments I could give to Kelsey finishing this round here. Guys, I don't think she's done enough damage. I think she needs separation. Let those hands go and reach, reach complete exhaustion even in these last 10 seconds. Yeah, I think it's too little too late. Just getting to the mound isn't enough to win the round, in my opinion. I don't think either of these fighters should feel overly comfortable that the judges saw this go their way. That's just something you can't always trust. Andy Shepard has the official scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Referee Brian Miner scores about 28-29 for Shields. Ben Cartlidge scores about 29-28 for DeSantis. And Mohamed Hadi scores about 28-29 for your winner via split decision. Clarissa Shields! Clarissa Shields' second victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Clarissa Shields. Relief, is that the look on your face right now? Uh, first, I just want to thank God. I want to thank Saudi for having me here. I want to thank the PFL. I had such a hard camp. Like, it's not easy what I'm trying to do. And I've been so respectful of the sport. And I put in a lot of hard work for this. And I'm just going to go back to the gym and work harder, but I almost got my arm snapped in the freaking arm bar. Had to fight out of that. Uh, I couldn't quite figure it all the way out the third round, but I know I had a strong first round, and I definitely had a hard second, and I won the beginning of the third round. So I just want to thank Kelsey and her team for accepting the fight, and uh, just want to thank my team, Mercy, Team Joaquin, King, uh, uh, Coach Justin. They, man, they pushed me so hard in camp. It was days in camp where I was literally holding in tears and I was not considering going back to the gym because it was just so hard. But I forced myself to go back and that's how I got the win tonight. That was a very well-earned victory. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Clarissa Shields.